Sometimes when the streetwear game doesn't go your way, you know, you're liable to snap. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. I've now had two pretty terrible days in a row. First off, Supreme. This is what I'm getting. Temporary page is gone. And now it's back. <laughs> Great. And now it's sold out. Awesome. And then this morning with Palace as well. Sold out. Hat's gone. Damn. Hat's gone. Wow, the coin purse is gone. I think some of the stuff just loaded in gone. I didn't get my hat, guys. I threatened craziness if it didn't happen. And so craziness you're gonna get. He's crazy. I'm packing up the equipment and we're going to Palace. I feel like I'm chosen. I'm covered in gold. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to take a trip over to the Palace Store on Melrose Avenue in Los Angeles. You sound like a gay. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, I tried to do a live cop. I tried to get myself a t-shirt and a hat and a pin. The only thing I got was stuck in the queue. I'm stuck! I got stuck in the queue the whole damn time. Someone in the Discord said, why don't you just go to the store? So what the hell, I'm gonna go to the store. But before I start my journey today, if you like these videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like the video and make sure that you have notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the Wednesday raffle live streams or any of the other live streams that I might jump on and do. Got it. And definitely make sure you join the Fauntleroy's finest Discord. We keep it chocked full with all the latest information, links. We got raffles. We got Larry D, the king of streetwear himself. We got Manny and even Efren. Links in the description below. And as you can tell by my little kitty cat clock friend over here, if I want to be able to get to this store around opening time, I need to get going. So let's get out of here. <laughs> I have no idea what I did with my microphone, so I'm going to try these earbuds, but they are not going to tell me that I can't have a hat. I will be going into the store to get one on my own, hopefully, but first I have to buy my expensive ass gas. Come on, man. All right, ready to go back on the road. I've got my green shirt on. I do not want to get pinched. Those Irish people can get real feisty on St. Patrick's Day. So hopefully I don't have any altercations with leprechauns or drunken Irish folks. Your fault. <laughs> you just can never be too careful on the streets of LA. So I'm in the line, it's what, a little, about, a little bit after 10, 10, 15, 10, something like that. So let's see how long it takes. Hopefully they'll have stuff by the time I get there. I only had to wait in line for about 30 minutes and then I was able to get inside. The store is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Sorry for the choppy camera work. Uh, you're going to have to deal with it. They had a lot of good stuff in stock from this past season and some stuff from last season as well. Hey, there's my ashtray. Pretty good selection overall to be honest with you. And then there was this guy, man. He was dripped out in chrome hearts top to bottom. Look at this guy. Sheesh. All the clothes were really nice. All the little accessories, beanies, nice. And then we had the bags. They really didn't have any of the Porter stuff in stock except for these bags right here. All three were super nice. Anyone that grabbed them will be really excited. Really cool store. They really utilized the space well. And I just think the overall ambiance of this store kind of blows Supreme out of the water, to be fair with you. Well, I went in. I tried to get my fucking hat, and they didn't have it in there anymore. You blew it! They sold out of hats. They sold out of coin purses. They sold out of pins, even. I mean, they, they have nothing in there. The store is useless to me. F you guys, I'm going home. I definitely cannot tell you how disappointing it is to drive all this way and not actually be able to get a hat that was overpriced in the first place. They didn't have the sand color shirt that I wanted. They didn't have the hat that I wanted. I was even gonna buy the coin purse. They didn't have that. That's stupid! 
Use your common sense. I wasn't able to pick up one of the gray shirts in my size. It is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But when it's a nice day in California, it does make all of that feel a lot better. Okay, this guy is a real zero. That's true. Well, I mean, we went there. Well, that was basically an L. I have to imagine that it cost me more to drive down there than it would to ship this t-shirt. But did you die? Although it did sell out on me anyway, so I wasn't able to cop it online. To be fair, it was a nice day at least, so I had a nice drive. The traffic wasn't bad, and I'd never been to the palace store before, so I got to go inside. Like a virgin. One other positive of the day, when I showed up back at the house, this giant box from FTP was here, which was confusing because I only ordered small things. It honestly was hilarious. The damn thing was packed to the brim with paper. It was like an Easter egg hunt the whole time. And I also got my box from Supreme in as well. So I'll show you all that stuff real quick here. First off, let's take a look at this t-shirt. There you go, there it is. Let's get it out of the bag. Here we have the front, the nice little Porter Palace Triferg. And then the back here with the little bellboy hit as well. I really do like this shirt. And also, friend of the channel, Manny, was able to grab me a blue version of this one. He sent it out already. I don't know, man. To me, in hand, this gray one hits pretty hard. It looks really nice in hand. This might be the one that I end up keeping. I might do something else with the blue one. Maybe a giveaway. Maybe I sell it. Maybe I keep that one, too. Who knows? But I am actually glad that I was able to get something out of the collaboration. It's like Mick Jagger always says. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you might get the gray one instead. What's the matter with you, boy? So not the most successful day I've ever had. Heck, this week could have gone a lot better uh, overall. After recording this, I totally folded. I went to Discord. Good friend of the channel, Efren, came through like a champ and helped me out. Uh, it, it was not a lucky St. Patrick's Day for me. I did not have the luck of the Irish. There was no leprechaun in my pocket. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. But since I'm doing this video, I did get FTP and Supreme in, so let me show you those items really quickly. First off in this tube is a range target to shoot at. QB roll here. This thing's really cool. I bought it for a gun enthusiast friend of mine. I might actually frame it because it looks so neat like this. So I kind of hope he doesn't shoot it up. If he does, he should frame it after that too. It probably would look just as cool. Moving on. I was also able to grab these two Hot Wheels cars that they made, the black and the white version. Uh, it does come with a warning on the back, not for people under the age of 18. Sexual, violence, all that kind of stuff is involved, so do not play with these cars. You could be influenced. Pretty cool items. It still just reminds me that I failed to cop things that I wanted that day, but I did end up with a decent little accessory card. Would it make you feel better to, to strike me? And then, of course, the main item from my one and only FTP card, the Boris Plush. Let's get him out. Honestly, this is a really cool box. It's one of their better branded items, to be fair. He's actually quite big. I was a little bit, like, taken aback by the price point on these things. I kind of thought they were maybe going to be about that size. Uh, but this is a pretty big plush, and he looks really cool. I wonder if this Boris, he talks Russian too. He's moose and squirrel. I don't like population. I would like to fuck them, please. I kind of wish I would have bought the ghost now too, knowing how big these are. Cool piece regardless, but he's pointing over here because he wants to see what came from Supreme. I like it, I like it. It's just a small cart from Supreme. First off, just a camp cap, you know, basic black camp cap. Can't go wrong with those. What'd you do? And then the main thing I picked up, the North Face t-shirt. Ended up with a black one. I just thought that the colors kind of played the best off of each other from all of the ones that were in there. The blue one also I thought looked really cool. But you can never go wrong with black. This one's most likely a personal for me as well. And guess what? It has a pocket. You know what you can put in there? You put your weed in there. Oh, hey, yeah, I guess you can put that in there. All right, folks, there you go. I I, I kind of failed. I mean, at the end of the day, going downtown for a t-shirt to me is, is kind of a fail. I was going to hit up Supreme as well, but I heard that they didn't have any more of the Tamagotchis, and I didn't feel like waiting in line to take another L. The bums will always lose! Let me know in the comments down below if you guys got anything. If you failed to check out, if you did you fail this week too, let me know. We can cry together. Either way, thanks for watching the video. And if this has not given you the fill of Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos over here. Easy. My life was never easy.